lab guy here. This is the second video in one day. It's April 30th, 2019. This is episode 10 of the Philocam series. This is Philocam part 10. Um, sync generator and video format part 5. The Philo monitor is working. It is working. So let's take a closer look at that now. This is a direct look at the screen of the Philomon. This started out as a Robot Research Model 61 viewfinder camera for the Model 80 slow scan television camera. When I saw this monitor and read the specifications for it, it seemed like it was a perfect candidate to set the foundation for my scan standard that I wanted to use for the Philocam project. I wanted my image dissector camera to not run at standard scan rates but at something more like what Philo Farnsworth would have been using in his laboratory in 1927. And that might be 1937, I'm not sure. In that era when he was developing the system. So I know that he used a low scan rate, a low frame rate, and a low number of lines. This system has more lines than Farnsworth would have used in his system at the time, but it's good enough as an emulation of what he might have seen. So the uh, back to the monitor. The monitor uh, was easily modified. There were three things I had to do to, to use it for my needs. One was that I had to rotate the deflection yoke uh, yes, 90 degrees so that it, it's scanning vertically in this direction. In its normal use it scans this way sideways. I won't go into why, but it has to do with the slow scan conversion in the Model 80 slow scan television camera. This monitor operates at 267 lines, 15 frames per second. That's the standard that I designed the Philocam sync generator to operate in. So after I turned the deflection yoke, the one other change I had to make to get it to work correctly with my board was to uh, reverse the, the connections of the horizontal direction of deflection because I had a mirror image. No problem, no biggie at all. So this tube uses a P7 phosphor which has a little more persistence and helps to reduce the flicker some. As you can see it still flickers. It's not as bad as the oscilloscope was and it's certainly not as bad as it would look on a black and white television running at this speed. It would, it would literally be unwatchable in that case. This is the Philocam startup card that will be the logo for this system. Here's a picture of Philo Farnsworth. Note that the grayscale is much improved over the oscilloscope. This, ca this monitor and the other camera were designed to operate without gamma correction. I believe the oscilloscope would have shown a reasonably good picture had I put in a gamma correcting circuit. The output of my system is linear. So um, th I believe that was the issue. This monitor also accepts a linear input signal and produces a reasonably good output. There's our circular test pattern showing that the scan geometry is pretty good. It's not great, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. The Laurel and Hardy picture is a little easier to see, still a bit dark. That's just the way it is. And now Lab Guy, Lab Guy here, he wants to know Hey, Farnsy! Hey! No, no, the other one, Professor Farnsworth. When are we going to see some dollars out of this invention? These are the words of the investors at one of 
Philo Farnsworth's demonstrations, his brother-in-law quickly slipped a slide in front of the camera that looked like that. So I replaced the chicken with the dollar sign. The radiation trefoil looks better, but is still showing contouring. So I suspect I either have an open bit in my data, data path or shorted bits. I do not know. This picture does not look like this on the computer. There's the Indian chief uh, image from the lithophane on the front of my test pattern generator project, the chief. It's still a bit dark, but we can see a lot more of it now. And that is all eight images that are stored in the memory. Now when we get to image number nine, as you can see I have this little switch with push buttons. So we're at number seven. Zero to seven were the eight pictures I showed you. When I push the button we'll come back to image zero. And then image one is in the nine position. And what I'm going to do later, the logic isn't installed for this yet, when we're in 8 and 9, 8 will select the image dissector tube video, and 9 will select the image dissector tube video negative video. So it will be able to uh, scan negatives if I like. And now we're back at image 0. So I'm using one of these little thumb wheel switches for my image select. I hope you enjoyed this closer look at the Philomon monitor and the eight test slides and uh, can see where I'm going with this project. The next phase of the project will be to design and build the analog deflection yoke driver board and get it working driving the Viticon deflection yoke in the Philocam camera head itself. This is the actual goal of the project is to make a, an actual image dissector camera and make it work and also to demonstrate a more primitive video system for people to enjoy and to appreciate better than what they can read or, or uh, see on the web. So if you like this video hit that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed, click the subscribe, click the bell, all that jazz. If you have a friend, if you know somebody who would like this kind of subject matter, be sure to tell them. And um, until next time, Lab Guy out.